So, hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Stefan from Sunnycom and um, we are here together to show you a new development in this business. This is the ER infrared curing for epoxy resin systems. And um, as you see here, this is the infrared hose which we use to cure the liner without any other help, just with this light. So we prepared uh, a pipe, which is almost uh, a standard situation, that we will reline the pipe with this 90 degree bend, 45 degree bend, and then we expand to the diameter of 150, that means 100 to 150. Um, we choose this because we want to show you, it doesn't matter what kind of diameter we have, it will still perform the same curing. And um, yeah, we will use our 3D liner, the SX4 liner with 4.5 millimeter, which is able to do diameter 100 up to 150. And um, with this, uh, for, for your equipment, you don't need to add something um, very expensive. It is just to add this kind of adapter where you are able to push in the hose. And here we are able to connect the hose with the rope if there is a need that you want to install the liner and the light hose in one step. It's also possible to install the liner and afterwards you push in this hose. So this kind of flexibility uh, you have. You will always find a way to, um, to install this light hose. So, just to explain something about our resin, we still use the same performance of resin what we have um, all the time. That means the, the hardness will be always the same, like we have had EXRR, EXR, um, EX1, EX2 or EX4 resin. And the, the vertical base we also have but this is a special vertical base for the infrared curing. So you have, don't have to change anything in your thinking about um, how the resin performs. It's still the same as before. Our standard hardness with the infrared base. Okay. So now we're mixing the resin. This is, yeah, the mixing is the same as before, three minutes mixing. And then we start with the integration of the liner, which is also the vacuum. So the complete uh, process of insulation is the same as before. There has nothing been changed, so there is nothing specially or important to you to know standard installation.
Can I move it? What we done now, we just connected the light hose with the end of the liner, so that when we do the installation, the liner and the uh, light hose will go in the same way into it. And the liner will also help the hose to pass all the bands. So, I just seal it, close it here. And then we go on with the installation.
We just installed the liner through the, through the pipe and now I just look for the pressure. The pressure is correct and yeah, the hose is already inside with, so we installed together, liner and the hose. So liner the hose is in position and now we just switch on the light for the curing. And as you see, light is burning. And um, here on the control unit, we have the possibility to show um, the time frame, so the time, how long does the light is running. And it also shows the ampere. With the ampere, I can control if all the light sources are working 100%. And yeah, for this, you will get a schedule that you can see for a 5 meter, a 10 meter, or 40 meter hose. Um, how much ampere it has to be to control that your light source is 100% working. Yeah, and now we just need to wait. So we have EX1 uh, resin, that means we have to wait around about uh, 40 minutes. And then we switch off the light, wait another 5 minutes for cooling down, and that's it. So you, as you see, you don't need any special uh, extra equipment. We don't need a big compressor. We can do, we can use the same compressor as we uh, has used for the installation. We don't need a big power supply because this is a standard 220 volt uh, system. And um, so I would say it is like ambient curing, just faster. So now I want to explain to you um, the system by themselves the advantages of the light curing equipment, that means the main benefits are we have a 30 millimeter flexible light hose, as you have seen here, and um, it is really flexible that you can pass also a few bands. And um, what we want to offer is uh, available lengths of 5 meter, 10 meter, 15 meter, 25 or 40 meters. And so that you are able to be uh, to install also the small dimension liners, the small lengths of liners, and um, also for the bigger equipment, uh, for the bigger lengths, the bigger diameter, you can have this 40 meters. It is working with 110 volt or 120 volt. So here it is depending in which country we will send. It. Um, which I explained already, we have here a very low power consumption. That means with a very uh, small uh, power supply, you can already work uh, or cure this line. And um, as you have seen, it is easy to install. We have the pos both possibilities. So that means we can install the liner with the light hose and we can do the liner installation and afterwards we install or we push in the light hose. And, um, yeah, and here this is your, your flexibility. Um, yeah, what we can do with the same light hose, we go from 50 up to 250. So there is no difference. It will perform the same, uh, the curing time will be the same. It is absolutely no problem, any different dimension. Um, as I said, we also can pass uh, a few 90 degree bands. It is also uh, always like that. When you, when you are able to pass uh, with the liner the 90 degree bands, yes, then we also pass with the host the 90 degree bands. Um, so it's, it's uh, easy in handling. Um, 
here is no cooling needed, that means this light hose I can always touch without any problem. It is getting um, a bit warm, but never hot. It's also for the, this light hose in the liner, um, where the contact to the liner is. It's never getting hot, that means you cannot burn your liner, it will not damage your coating or your liner, never ever. So you can leave it there also for two weeks and it will happen nothing. Um, what we also develop is the T-liner system with the light curing and the short liner system with the light curing. So, and the short liner system will be uh, available for now up to two meter lengths. And um, I can show you just the short liner, for example, nine meter. This is now a short liner, diameter 100, one meter length. And you see, it has still the same flexibility as before. It is connected here with the air, here with the, with the control unit. And then you have your, your special push rod system where you can bring the packer in position. Exactly the same system we use for the T-packer. So that's completely the same, just with the lateral. And um, I can say here we have a bit more power, more light power in it, so we can um, speed up securing uh, about 50%, I would say. Good. Then, um, yeah, as you see here, it is no danger light. That means um, even there is still some hose outside. It has no effect on your eyes, on your on your body. It's completely uh, without any problems. <coughs> Which is also very interesting if you compare to any other system like UV system. This infrared light. This is, um, it, it penetrates up to five centimeters into the material. So what we do is, with infrared, um, we give the energy direct on the liquid, not on the surface of anything. It is on the, in the liquid, and then we start to um, heat the liquid with this infrared. So in the end, it is very cost efficient and it is also very environmental and fit efficient because no extra compressor, no extra water, no extra diesel. Um, all this with just a simple light hose. I would say better it can't be. Now we want to check um, what our curing is doing because here on the control unit we can see now um, for the moment we have 14 minutes and the power is still okay and uh, we place some cameras to see how the reaction in the pipe is and there you can see we have after 14 minutes a temperature of 65 degrees already so, yeah, it's running very well. So, then we go to the next step. So, it is, like I said before, it is for our two-component epoxy resin. It is the standard hardener as you have um, until now, so there is no change for you. We just made a modification in the base resin, and this will be the difference. But it has no influence on the pot light, it has no influence on the curing time with steam or hot water or ambient. So it is just for the infrared system. Important is 
with our resins, you have no shrinkage. You can cure it anyway. That means ambient, hot water, steam, or with light. Even when there would be a uh, breakdown of the power supply or uh, anything that the light the source is not working, then you can still cure it ambient, or you can still restore, uh, cure it um, as before with steam or with hot water. <coughs> and um, yeah, the, the light curing we can use with all of our resins. It's like I said, it's, uh, it depends on you what kind of partner you use. Fast curing, for example, like we do now with the EX1, 40 minutes without any big action. <laughs> yeah. Which what is also very important, and here we make um, tests in the laboratory to see how well it is cured after light curing, and you can see we cure up to 98 percent. That's um, this performance you will not have when you do steam curing or hot water curing. Uh, we also made yeah, the standard e module tests and um, also here we have um, excellent results. All of them are more than 3000 Newton per square millimeter. The TG is already from beginning very high, so that means um, yeah, it is well cured with this light. Um, next thing is very, very important because in the past, especially the people who wanted to do steam curing, they had to use always uh, calibration holes for curing, yeah, because the liner is not performed for uh, steam curing. But here, you don't need any calibration holes. You can do installation and light holes in and cure. And then, um, yeah, here you also, you save a lot of money. Uh, we have done this test with all of our liners, That's, so here it doesn't matter if you use our EX, uh, SX2 liner, SX3, SX4 or SX41, with all liners it is working very well. Uh, what else we have? Yeah, the thickness, um, as I said before, we, have, uh, we can penetrate into 5 cm thick material. So what we have in, in general, we have a 3mm 4.5 or with the PP liner up to 28mm uh, thickness and um, yeah, you can cure it easily. If you compare it to a UV system, you never could do such a thickness. So this is um, impossible, but with light, no problem at all. Um, yeah, I know the question will come up if you want to do open end liner. Stefan, we already have here one, more than 100 degrees. Let's check. Oh. <laughs> um, just to show you. 19 minutes. In 19 minutes, we have a full reaction. That means a full exotherm reaction. Um, we have more than 100 degrees. So you see, it's. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's already in the, in the end stadium of curing. <laughs> yeah, but still, um, we have to wait until it is complete uh, cured. So, this 40, 40 minutes are perfect. So, we go on here. Um, line of thickness, we have same curing speed as this. Ah, yeah. Open end liner. So when you have to do an open end liner, you can do the uh, installation with our transparent uh, calibration hose. And here it works uh, at the same speed. That means you have no, um, um, no extra time what you need when you work with our tran um, transparent calibration hose. It performs the same. And, uh, it's, um, it hurts your, your calibration hose not as much as with steam or other uh, uh, things because here it is just air, light and um, you can use this calibration hose much more often as before.
<clears throat> yeah, what can I say about the controlled process? It is 100% controlled because you have your control unit there, you see the time, you see the power of your light chain, and um, you, don't, you just need to switch on and switch off. So there is nothing in between what you can do wrong. With other systems, even with your weak fuel, you always have to take care that the speed of the light chain is correct, that the power of the light chain is correct, that um, yeah, that, that about the, the different situations, you always have um, the influence of the operator who can make any mistake. But here, it's not possible to make any mistake. When the hose is in, you switch on the light, you wait for this time, and then you switch off the light, and that's done. So, 100% controlled. Um, so, 100% tight water, 100% watertight product fits anyway because it is our liner with our resin, it's anyway 100% watertight. Um, yeah, green technology, like I said, I don't need big power supply, I don't need big compressor, I don't need a big steam unit. Um, all this I save. And also water sources I save, especially in uh, warm areas where you have to look for every liter of water. Um, then this is, this is the best technology for it. Um, what we also realized with this kind of uh, technology, with this kind of curing, we don't have the situation that the resin is getting so liquid that it always runs into the laterals and fills up the laterals with, with resin. Here, um, with the light curing, this kind of uh, happening, we don't have so much. So there is almost no resin in the laterals. This is um, yeah, also a big advantage, especially want, if you want to do uh, vertical pipes with a lot of uh, connections. Yeah, so we got we got the experience that um, we don't have so much resin in the laterals as before. Yeah, this is a, a small overview of our system. And so, if you have more questions, yeah, it's up to you. Contact us and. We will tell you anything. We will come up with uh, more information anyway in the next week. Then we will inform you yeah, more about this technology and also uh, the availability. So now we have almost 40 minutes. And um, so we just check <coughs> what we have here. And I can feel it is totally cured, 100% cured. It's not even possible to press, it's, yeah, it's really perfect and it says 39 minutes, so at 40 minutes we just switch off and take out the hose and that's all we have to do. It's, um, yeah, very, very, very easy as you have seen. Um, for me, it was a uh, uh, very uh, relaxed working and especially very relaxed curing because I had to do nothing. Just maybe control the pressure for the liner from time to time, but this you do the same um, with the uh, ambient cured liner or any other uh, curing system. But not, not anything else I had to do. So. Um, yeah, like I said, we will switch off the light now, taking out the hose, and that's it. Yeah, um, it was a pleasure for me to present you our new um, curing system. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. So we will be always available for you. In the next weeks, we want to... Um, give you the chance to visit us where we can do also presentations for you then that you can can get the feeling for it how the system is working 
And there we will also show you how the packer system is working, how the tea packer system is working. Um, it is uh, as easy as um, the liner installation. So just an example with the packer system. Um, we will have a curing time of about 30 minutes for the for EX1 resin, which is um, extremely fast. Good. So, um, what else can I say as thank you for joining us, watching this video, and um, hope to hear you soon.